So just wanted to take a couple minutes and uh, as we wrap up summer here and, and we're getting ready for the fall, lots of athletes kind of going back into their into their daily grind and, and I think it's really important to, to understand the emotions that are involved in, in uh, this time of year and getting ready and, and uh, also the preparation that's involved too. So one of the analogies I've been giving to uh, a lot of workshops and, and stuff like that is is the idea of a shark in a in a pool and if, if if our athletes are sharks in a pool you know we can rely on our talent uh, we're bigger we're stronger we're better uh, no one really wants to jump in the pool with us but you know one of the things about moving on to the next level is that you become a shark in the ocean and when you're in the ocean there's there's a lot of things that are happening and I think it's really important that if we were to navigate the ocean uh, we must make sure we're aware of our emotions that are involved in the ocean and as well as make sure we're aware of our, our key processes in our preparation. Um, in one of my uh, articles I wrote that uh, that is out I, I talked about you know as you start getting ready you, you there's four main questions you should kind of ask. The first question is how do you push yourself and how do you evolve your game so I think it's it's okay as you get ready for training camps and stuff like that to make sure that you're challenging yourself you know if you want to feel engaged and happy and excited uh, make sure you drive yourself and your visualization, how you see yourself and your self-talk revolves around those things. The second question is, what type of belief system do you have? Um, I really believe if you don't know the answer to your belief system and what makes you uh, the type of athlete you are, what gives you the competitive edge, uh, it's probably a lack of awareness and a lack of education. It should be something that you start really diving into as you embark on the season. The other, the number three thing is as you embark on the season, uh, make sure that you're aware of learning. Every day at training camps and and, and starts of the season, you're, we're always learning. Uh, so make sure you evaluate yourself weekly on the emotions and what you went through and how you can move forward on, on the next phase. Um, and lastly, the biggest thing is, is, is the idea of the mindset and mentality. It's a skill. And skills take time to build so if you start saying I'm gonna be really good in my internal dialogue for training camp but then all of a sudden things go astray um, ties back to the last point about about be aware of your learning um, when things go bad we we don't want to we don't want to disregard uh, the emotions that we feel and, and what's going on uh, therefore be aware of your emotions and what they may be doing to your performance right so you know how do you how do you have that thought stoppage of something going bad, especially in a high pressure situation such as training camp and and stuff like that. Um, you know I think one of the biggest things we we really want to make sure as we as we prepare is that we are aware of our emotions that are involved in this time of year. Um, failure to prepare enhances stress, right? So when we have stress, I'm talking about our muscle tension, changes of intention, um, state anxiety. Um, all those types of things and and with that changes our perception of our, our environmental demand um, which ultimately equals consequences in our behavior and what I mean by that if is if we don't know how to deal with with stress and the tension that we're involved with and and the changes of our attention if we start focusing too much on outcomes all of a sudden our environment changes and the demand in our environment changes and then all of a sudden we have behavior consequences where maybe we're really hard on ourselves and and we're not doing the things that we usually are supposed to be doing and, and so at the end of all this you know I think it's really just important to be aware of what preparation is uh, the emotions that are involved and and to be prepared to swim in the ocean you're probably gonna have to take a look at those things because as you move through the levels uh, talent might win win in the pool but it won't win in the ocean and so some things to think about um, and as per usual you know um, it's a skill and uh, take some time give it some thought as you prepare for this upcoming season and um, if you have any questions you know where to find me thanks